This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at empirical and molecular formulas. Let's start the video with a couple of definitions. The molecular formula is the actual number of atoms in a compound, and the empirical formula is the lowest whole number ratio of atoms in a compound. Here we can see the structure of butane, which is an organic compound. One molecule of butane has four carbon atoms and ten hydrogen atoms. So the molecular formula of butane is C4H10. This is because there are four carbon atoms and ten hydrogen atoms in one molecule of butane. The empirical formula of butane is C2H5. This is the lowest whole number ratio of atoms in the compound. As we can see for butane, the molecular formula and the empirical formula are different. In some compounds, they can be the same. So next, we look at some more examples. In this table, we have the compound, its molecular formula, and its empirical formula. Starting with ethane, which has the molecular formula C2H6, and the empirical formula CH3. Next is propene, which has the molecular formula C3H6, and the empirical formula CH2. Glucose has the molecular formula C6H12O6 and its empirical formula is CH2O. Next, we have phosphorus pentoxide. Its molecular formula is P4O10, and its empirical formula is P2O5. Hydrogen peroxide has the molecular formula H2O2, and the empirical formula is HO. And finally, we have ethanol. The molecular formula for ethanol is C2H6O. And as we can see, the empirical formula is the same. So from this table, we can see that for some compounds, the molecular formula and empirical formula are different. But for some compounds, it's the same. The molecular formula of a compound can be determined from its empirical formula and its relative molecular mass. So let's look at an example. A compound has the empirical formula CH2O and a relative molecular mass of 180.18. Determine its molecular formula. The first step is to find the mass of the empirical formula. So here we have the relative atomic masses of the atoms in the empirical formula. They are carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. If we add these together, we get a mass of 30.03. The next step is to divide the relative molecular mass by the mass of the empirical formula. So that's 180.18 divided by 30.03. And this gives us a value of 6. The final step is to multiply the empirical formula by 6. And this gives the molecular formula, which is C6H12O6. So that's all from this video. In the next video, I'll be looking at how to determine the empirical formula from percent composition.